Hi everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio. And yes, you're looking at my kitchen, also all the way outside. Um, it's kind of a cloudy, yucky day here in the Texas Hill Country. And I have just about run out of fabric medium. So knowing that I had to mix some up today, I thought it might be a great idea to show you what the process is to actually physically make the fabric medium from the various different products that I get from Pro Chemical and Dye. Now, um, I'm going to probably be making a three to four gallon batch when it's all said and done. I probably do this about once a quarter. That's how fast I sell out of my fabric medium or use it when I'm um, teaching classes. But today I'm going to pretend that I have bought the smallest quantity of these various different chemicals, just like you might do if you decided to make your own fabric medium for your own usage. Um, now, I'm going to post this later on today, but I have gone through and I have calculated with an Excel spreadsheet, no less, the various different costs uh, involved in making the two different types of fabric medium that I make, the plain and the pearlescent. I will post this as a PDF out uh, underneath the comments in the description. You can go take a look at this. It's basically the formula as well as the costs involved. Now, I literally did this today and it's November 25th, 2023. As of today, if you make your own fabric medium the way I'm going to show you, it's actually cheaper than buying, uh, say, Delta Ceram Coat from Amazon, which for a two ounce bottle is retailing right now for $4.44. I have calculated everything with a fairly sizable chunk for postage here, and it's still for a two ounce bottle of plain fabric medium, it's $2.79 for a two ounce bottle. And for the pearlescent, a two ounce bottle would be $2.96. So you can see it's, it's, it's a savings. Now, of course, you're going to have to buy a minimum of eight ounces of each one of these chemicals that you're going to use to make your own fabric medium. So if you don't want that much, my suggestion is, is find somebody else or several people who might also be interested in making this fabric medium. And you guys can have a fabric medium party, woohoo. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go through that process here so that you can see how to do it or how I do it. Now, what's the secret here? There is no real secret. It's just mixing it up in a mixing bowl and then pouring it into the various different containers. And I'll talk about that as we go along. Okay, back. And uh, the very first thing I wanna show you is my really scientific mixing bowl. Yep, it's one of the cheapies you get at uh, Family Dollar. And um, I like it because it's got the little pour spout and we'll look at that later on. Uh, another important scientific ingredient is, or tool is the mixing cup. This is a one cup mixing cup, which we'll be using quite a bit today. Now let's talk about the various different products I use, and I'm going to be slightly off camera so that you can see the actual process here. Um, so I'm going to go through the various different products that are here on the counter and what each one of them uh, is as far as how it works in the fabric medium. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna show you is low crock binder. Now, according to Pro Chemical, this is what they would use to mix in creating paint. Now, go to their website, and I'm going to post that below so that you can look at it, and you can get the full description of this. They have wonderful FAQs. Um, they're, they're very, very informative, so I'm not going to bore you with all those details there. You can go look at that on their website. But that's number one ingredient, it's low crock. Now let me just say one thing I do do differently than Pro Chemical. They recommend mixing this wa with water. I am going to use it straight. I found that over the years, mixing it with water does lend the possibility for bleeding. So I always use it straight and I don't find any problems with that. Okay, the very next thing, and I'm, I'm going to, this is heavy um, and it's a, 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 a kind of a jelly-like product, but this is trans, parent extender. Um, these two ingredients, when I very first started making fabric medium, these used to be the only two that I would use, but I have found a third ingredient, 
again of ProChemical and Dyes, and that is called Pro Silk Fabric Extender. Let me get this up so that you can see it. There you go. Um, I just like including it. Um, I'm not sure why I decided to do that. I think I found that it it just just made a better feeling fabric medium when I when it was dry and after it went through the dryer. And everything, just as you see right here, is the ingredients, or excuse me, it are the ingredients for um, regular fabric medium, just plain fabric medium. Now, the other ingredient I do want to point out, and um, I, I keep this on hand whenever I'm mixing this stuff up, is Pro Chemicals Paint Thinner. I'll get that so that you can see it. There you go. Um, I use this if, for any reason, the, uh, the the translucent extender, you're gonna see it's very, very jelly-like. Sometimes it comes through quite thick and chunky. So I'm gonna put that in the bowl first. And if it is, I'll splash a little bit of the paint thinner just so that it mixes better and there's not any lumps or bumps in it. So that might be another product you may wanna consider getting if you're going to be making your own fabric medium on a regular basis based on my recipe. Last but not least is the pearlescent extender. Ah, uh, this is what everybody loves to buy from me, is my pearlescent fabric medium. This stuff is great, and a little bit goes a long way. Now, sometimes I put a little bit more, sometimes I put a little bit less. It really just kind of boils down to what I'm planning on doing as far as say, like Christmas for instance. Yeah, I might throw a little bit more pearlescent in so it gives all my colors in a Christmas ornament a little bit more shimmer. But most of the time, what you'll see is I have a ratio of one, 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 and, and a half. So it would be one part low crock binder, one part translucent extender, one part silk fabric extender and then half part pearlescent and again this is going to be something personal for you so uh, just just give it a try and test it start out light and then you can always add in more what you don't want to do is put this full jar in even when you buy the smallest amount because it will really it's super super thick um, and, and it will fall to the bottom. This is why I always say on my labels, you know, shake thoroughly because when this is mixed with these other ingredients, it will eventually fall to the bottom and you need to shake it up really good to get a good mix. So don't go crazy with this, but test the level of how much you would like to put into it. And always know too, that if you put too much of this back to the thinner, you can blend it down with a thinner. All right, now let's get started. And I'm gonna first show you just the process of making up the regular fabric meeting. Oh, one other important ingredient I forgot to show you. Yes, handy dandy hand mixer. Now I went to Family Dollar and I bought a cheapie. I also have my own little spatula. You will need something like this. Um, uh, let me set the mixer up here real quick. I forgot to do that earlier. I told you guys, I'm not the best videographer, but you'll get the point across once you see this. And that's really what I feel is most important about these. Okay, let me set that there. Get this all plugged in. All right, now the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I've already op popped open the lid. Handy dandy, you know, uh, church key, some people call it, my mom used to call it this. Um, this bucket lid is just like any other paint lid. It's darned hard to get off. So I've already got, gotten it off and popped it open. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm mixing it in the cup. But after I finish this video, I'll be making up my entire batch, which is normally what I do whenever I get my Pro Chemicals stuff in here. But we'll start out again. Let me just set this up here. And handy mixing cup. Now, what I do, um, frankly, when I'm making a small batch, three cups of each one of these, and then I'll see how it looks, and decide whether I have to thin it down. Only after I've made my plain fabric medium do I then come back in and make up 
for whatever's left over with the pearlescent. Um, I'm not super low on the uh, plain fabric medium. I've actually got a fair amount, at least to get me through the next two weeks uh, for the classes that I'll be teaching. So today, I'll show you the process of making plain, and then I'm going to go straight into making the pearlescent because actually I need pearlescent today. I'm completely out, which is again, hence why I decided to make this video. All right, super easy scoop. Well, you can probably see it's, it's, it's jelly-like. See, you can kind of see it. Now I'm going to just kind of pour it in there, um, into the bowl. You can't see this, sorry. Um, but hey, we've all made cakes for the most part. You get the idea. So I'm going to pour it in my bowl. And it, I usually use the spatula, you know, to, to really get in and get all the excess out. I don't like wasting this stuff. This, this stuff is not cheap. I mean, let me just quote you a price here real quick, which I think is pretty darn fair. To buy all these chemicals the first time in the smallest quantities, and I'm trying to include you know, again, a fairly generous amount for, by the way, here's cup number two. Again, we're going to put in three cups. Um, anyway, I'm interrupting myself. Um, if you bought all of these chemicals, it's going to run you about 50 bucks right off the bat. Um, now that will give you approximately 48 ounces of pearlescent fabric medium, or you can split it up and give yourself about 24 ounces of plain and then and then the rest of it you can make into pearlescent. Um, as it turns out, that's about a dollar fifty an ounce. Again, still cheaper, but I do want you to know that it is going to be a certain cost upfront, um, and fifty bucks would not be unreasonable. And again, if you feel find that's a little bit on the expensive side, go ahead and find some friends to split it up with. Okay, now I'm going to come in with cup number three. Um, it's just going into the bowl. Okay, we're back. And you can see it pretty well, I think, for the most part. Anyway, I'm just going to scrape off a little bit more of the translucent extender. Make sure we got it all in there. And like you can, you can probably tell, it's, it's thick. Um, now sometimes like this summer, I don't know what happened, but boy, their stuff was uber, 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 uber thick. Uh, now, they're a family-run owned business, so again, it's one of the reasons I love to support them. And number two, they just really make great products. All right, that is the extender. Let me get this all off first. And I'm just going to kind of stir it around, make sure there's no lumps or bumps, and it doesn't appear to be. All right, now let me get the lid back on this. You do need to keep this stuff very well sealed if you're not going to use all of it right away. And so I'm just popping the lid until I hear that nice click. Um, like I said, I'll be coming back in later on now and making up the rest of the batch. Okay, so now we're gonna use the low crock binder. Again, three cups of this. Now it will tell you down here, mix one cup low crock binder with three cups water. If you do that, it will bleed like a stuck pig. Just my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Um, try it. Try it the way Pro Chemical re recommends, and then try it my way. Okay, three cups. You can see this is very watery, although it's like milk. It's about the consistency of milk. Okay, one more cup. Now, let me tell you what I'm going to do first and foremost is I like to mix each product together. So I'm gonna start out with these two first, blend it up here real quick. Um, I'll run it the first time, the second time I'll put it on pause. Hang on. No, by the way, it's a pain in the rear for these. So I just sit it on the kitchen counter. Um, you can clean everything up with soap and water. That's no big deal. All right. Um, just like making a cake. Now, it will get very foamy on you right away. All right, that's enough. Um, 
I will probably do it a little bit more, but again, this is, this is for video purposes. And it's very foamy. It gets very foamy very quickly. When I make my own fabric medium before I bottle it for sale, I let it sit. I'd like at least 48 hours, but a lot of times I'll let it sit for a week before I bottle it because I wanna make sure all these bubbles dissipate so that when I go fill the, the containers there, you're getting a full honest two ounces as opposed to a bunch of air. Um, but you'll, you'll see this right away. Now, I don't find this ca cause for alarm. Um, I've done it this way now. Mm, this is my seventh or eighth year of making uh, this product. And I do it the same every single time, which is why I don't feel bad about making a video. So I, I'm kind of stirring around, making sure there's no more lumps. Um, kind of scraping the edges, making sure that I've gotten all of the translucent extender mixed in with the low croc binder. Okay, last but not least, and this is just for the pearl, uh, excuse me, for the plane, you will take and mix in three cups. Now, this is the wateriest of the three products, and this is just like water. Um, it doesn't function like water. But I really like it, I think, because it does thin it down the way water would, but without the bleeding properties that water has. Okay, so I just find it didn't hurt. But, you know, there are times and says, and this is, by the way, the thinner is a lot more expensive than buying this extender. So... Um, again, just how I've kind of created things over a while. Okay, once again, mix up. All right, there you go. And again, this is just for video purposes. I, I would mix probably for each one of these at least a minute. And the reason I do is because when I go to pour it into those small bottles later on, I don't want any lumpy bumpies inside that are gonna cause issues with somebody trying to squirt out their fabric medium. Plus you want a good blend. Okay, now if I was fine with this and needed plain fabric medium, it goes straight in to one of my bottles right now. And by the way, these bottles from Pro Chemical and I are great bottles. I recycle them. So there's a whole bat, bunch of them back in my storage area where I keep all this stuff so that as I make it up, I've got plenty of containers to put all this in. Um, my recommendation is if you buy from Pro Chemical and I, you're going to see they use very high quality bottles. Recycle them. Eh, you're saving the planet. Okay, last but not least... Let's talk about how now to make this into pearlescent. Now, what we have here is approximately, let's see, three cups is the equivalent of, how many ounces is that? 12 ounces. So that's, we've roughly got 36 ounces right now, okay? What I like to do is mix the ratio of 25% per, pearlescent to 75% per percent regular fabric medium. So what I have here is a 32 ounce um, batch of pearlescent extender. And by the way, again, I, I mentioned this earlier, but again, I'll reiterate, this is very thick. So the very first thing I do, uh, it's got a cap on it. You have to pull this off. Sorry, I should have done this earlier, um, but it's no biggie. Um, it's you can see it's it's like the consistency of whipped cream. Let me just pour pull this off. See, I can I can stick it on there, and it's thick, and it doesn't. You know, you have to really um, knock it off in order to get it off the the spatula. Um, so I'm going to do that. So if we take our number of 36 and say, okay, what is 
25% of 36, that is roughly 12, so 12 ounces. So approximately a cup and a half. Um, so I'm gonna just try pouring this first. So, oh, it, oh it's good. This, is, this must be a fresh batch because some of the stuff this summer, like I said, it was really, really, the, the low proc binder was thick and their pearlescent was really thick. Okay, so I'm just pouring that in. And the next half cup, yes, I do have a half cup mix, but I never like to get it dirty. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and pour in about half of this. And that looks about good. Again, I can always come back in and add more. Um, just like icing, scoop off anything that looks like it's gonna spill off the lip, top of the lid, mix that in. Now this needs to be mixed for quite some time. So I'm going to pause. I will mix this because you don't want to watch the, 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 the mixer. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as, as soon as I turn the mixer off. But you know, there, there's just nothing special about how I am mixing this other than what you've seen already. So I'm gonna pause. Okay, I have just completed um, whipping this stuff up and when you put in the pearlescent, it gets very, 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 very foamy and um, very bubbly. Um, so here again, if you are going to make the pearlescent and bottle it, uh, know that you probably shouldn't, I really wouldn't use it for a couple of days. Let these bubbles die down and, and, and let this all get nice and mixed. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the pearlescent will actually kind of fall to the bottom. It's silvery looking, um, and once you've done this to the fabric medium, you're going to see it take on a slightly pale gray tinge. That's okay. That just means it's the pearlescent and it's very well mixed. Um, if you have ever seen my bottle of plain pearlescent, uh, excuse me, plain fabric medium against a bottle of shaken pearlescent, you'll see that the pearlescent definitely has that bit of gray tinge. So that's it. I mean, honestly, all I'm gonna do now is pour it into a container with a lid that I can seal tightly and make sure it goes into my pearlescent bottle. I have a bunch of bottles around here all labeled. Um, but I did want to just show you how this is done. Hopefully you got something from this today. Can't recommend Pro Chemical and Dye products enough. And they're wonderful people if you ever need to talk to them and um, their customer service is, is outstanding. So if you have any questions about what you saw today, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to respond. And as always, thanks for watching. Addendum. In order to clean everything, watch this. That's it, y'all. Everything is soap and water. Now, I'm on a septic system. Never bothered my septic system, ever. If you feel uncomfortable about this, take your utensils outside, if you have a yard, and clean them out there. But honestly, have never had any problems washing my chemicals down my disposal sink side of the sink. So, just wanted to make sure that you were aware that you can wash everything once you have made your fabric medium.